Good afternoon. I want to talk to you about plastics. You probably think you know what plastics are, they're quite common, they're quite boring, they don't conduct electricity. Why would you want to research those? Well, actually, if you take a particular chemical structure of plastic, they can conduct electricity. And even more interestingly, they can be semiconductors. <coughs> What's a semiconductor? Well, contrary to popular opinion, it's not actually quite halfway between an insulator and a conductor. It's actually something that you can turn on, the conductive properties on and off. You can switch it between these two things. And that actually makes it really useful. How do you switch it between these two things? You can apply a voltage, you can warm it up, you can shine light on it. And it's transit, it's the semiconductors that are responsible for all the useful electronic devices, including lighting, this projector, most of the electronics in this room, all rely on, this, on semiconductors. Previously, they're all made from silicon, which is basically a sort of solid block of stuff. But now, we can make them from plastic. Why might that be a fantastic idea? Well, imagine making all these incredible electronic devices, lighting, screens, solar panels, displays, all this kind of stuff. Flexible, printable, cheap, large area. Imagine wallpapering up your TV. How good would that be? Well, you, think, you might think, fantastic, so why can't I go to John Lewis and buy one? Well, that's where my PhD comes in. The major problem with this field is that even with the same chemical structure, same chemical structure, use the same molecule in essence, you can have very different microstructures. And I can represent that complexity with a schematic over here. And you can see at the bottom, you've got these long semiconducting backbones. These are your polymer chains. These are the plastic. With these little side chains wandering off to the sides to make it dissolve. And just at that diagram, you could think, oh, that looks like a nightmare. All these things could be arranged differently. And the different arrangements uh, will ultimately affect the colours, like you see at the top. And they'll, they'll affect how well it conducts electricity. So what my PhD is essentially about is trying to understand how that structure forms when we, can, when we print these materials from the solutions like the ones that you see at the top, uh, and how that those different structures ultimately affect the electronic properties. Thank you very much. <laughs>